Hello there, my Stampin' friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Brackbill, Stampin' Queen. I am so glad you guys are here with me. Happy New Year, happy new decade, and happy celebration. One of my favorite times of the year when everybody gets to earn free stuff. So one of the best times to shop, one of the best times to host, one of the best times to actually join my team because we've got so much free stuff coming your way. So I wanna share what we're gonna create today. It's going to be this cute little buckle card, and I've made these before. It's a super easy, fun little kind of interactive card using our Peaceful Poppy Suite. I want to preface this by saying this is not my creation. It came from Pinterest. I'm not sure who created it. I made these about ooh, three or four weeks ago, and I'm not sure where it came from, but it is not mine. But whoever it is, thank you so much. It's gorgeous. We are going to use the Painted Poppies and the Peaceful Moments stamp set along with the coordinating dies. And I did want to share this real quick that this is what I call a mega bundle, which means you can get everything in this bundle with one-stop shopping, one button, and that's going to give you everything from the paper, the double stamp set, double dies, and all the little embellishments here in the Peaceful Poppy Suite. The great thing about this is that it is celebration, which means that you can earn one or two celebration items of your choice, which is fantastic. Now, this is our current January through June mini catalog. It is available now. If you do not have one, I did have Stampin' Up! send it to my customers, and I know between Christmas and they sort of staggered some shipments, things did not come in a timely manner. So if you do not have this, please contact me and let me know and I will get you a copy. Also, this is our celebration mini catalog. So the items in here are the things you're going to earn for free during celebration. If you don't have either one of these, hit me up if you're one of my customers. If you do not have, <clears throat> excuse me, a current demonstrator, I would be happy to get you some catalogs as well. Now, one thing I'm gonna share very quickly with you guys is a special that's coming up. Now, I hate to share too far ahead sometimes because it um, gets us a little too excited for something we can't get just yet. But I wanna share this because this may change your thoughts on what you choose as your free items during the month of January. Now, this special is going to start February 4th through March 31st if you are a customer. If you're a demonstrator, you're actually able to get these items right now. So you may start seeing some items um, on the internet, on Pinterest, on other people's blogs, that kind of thing, and you wonder where they come from, this is because demonstrators are allowed to pre-order ahead of time. So that is another little perk that you get whenever you join my team. So this is going to be a coordination release that is coming in February, which means we're coordinating items from here that you can purchase that will coordinate with the items you're choosing for free from Celebration. So we have, um, <clears throat> Now, I, I guess I should preface that by saying stamps from celebration and items in the mini catalog. So we have um, some dies, Nature's Thought, Special Day. Those are some dies that you can get that coordinate with items in our mini. Then we also have Sending Flowers. So I'm gonna show you what it coordinates with. We have got a, uh, dies that coordinate with this stamp set, Sending You Thoughts. We also have one that coordinates with our happy birthday to you. So this is saving you a lot of fussy cutting that you don't have to hand cut all these flowers and all these um, birthday cakes. Then my favorite one is that we have got a set of dies that coordinate with our little ladybug. That's why I'm sharing this information now because if you know that you have some dies and you're not going to have to do any hand cutting, you might choose them uh, and that's what you might pick as your celebration item for free. Now the ladybugs is a host only stamp set. The only way to get this is with a qualifying $300 party or $300 order and you can get those for free. <coughs> Now, like I said, we do have this set of dies so that you don't have to hand cut all these little images. I'm telling you this as well because these will be while supplies last. So as soon as it goes live in February, if you're considering, go ahead and purchase these dies even if you don't have your stamp set just yet. And I say that because we make our stamp sets in the US. So if they should happen to go on back order, it's not for a long period of time and we don't have to worry about trying to ship from overseas and having a long lag time. That's kind of how I preface everything anymore these days. If you love it, you better grab it quickly because we have 
amazing, amazing products. Stampin' Up! is a fantastic company. We are full of amazing demonstrators that work with the company and everybody loves these and we are global. So when we see something that we all love, um, you, wanna, you wanna act now so that you don't have to worry about having to wait or missing out on those items. The other thing that we have in addition to the dies is a pack of designer series paper called Pleased as Punch. And this is full of images that coordinate with punches we already have. So instead of having to stamp and color and cut, all you have to do is just punch, 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 and you've got some great little images. So I wanted to make sure that I shared that with you guys. So now let's go ahead and do some actual stamping. So I'm gonna pull in a piece of Poppy Parade cardstock, and this is eight and a half by four and a quarter, and I scored it, and I did this ahead of time, I scored at five and a half, and it looks like my paper trimmer tried to eat my cardstock, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and work with it anyway. So that's our little panel that's gonna come over here on this side, and I'm going to take a piece of our coordinating Poppy Designer Series paper. This piece, I'm not sure what size it is, but I'm going to put the dimensions on the video so you always know what's going on. And I'm going to attach that to that side panel. I'm gonna pull in our classic label punch and I'm just gonna eyeball some things. I'm gonna go in maybe a half an inch or so. Try to make sure it's straight. Try to make sure it's fairly even on both sides and give that a little punch. That's what creates our buckle. Now I did <clears throat> go ahead and I took a piece of Whisper White and I did stamp those ahead of time, but I'm gonna go ahead and put our sentiment on as well. And I'm gonna do a thank you using our peaceful moments stamp set. I need a lot of thank you cards. So many of my Stampin' people blessed us with little goodies over the holidays. All right, so now that I have, yep, my nose is running par for the course. I did stamp this in Memento Black and I'm just going to quickly take our Poppy Blend and I have the light one and I just wanna color those in real quick. You could also do the light and the dark, so if you want some shading on here, you could do that. I love using our blends. I think they just make it have just that little pop of color, and I love that they coordinate so well with our cardstock and our designer series paper. So now I also have a piece of real red. This is actually kind of the, the belt part of our buckle card and it is five and a half by one and a quarter and I did a little score here at half and then I'm going to take a piece of designer series paper and layer that over the top those stripes are not exactly straight they mess with my eyes a little bit so what I like to do is go ahead and put this in <clears throat> and then I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive here on the end, fold that over and it's going to meet the edge of my cardstock. So that way I can kind of make sure it's lined up pretty straight and now you'll see how my buckle will open. Then of course that white piece is going to cover that little edge up. I keep, I'm wearing a baseball hat this morning and I keep hitting my camera. There we go. Then that'll slide right in there. Now I did, I went ahead and die cut these ahead of time. So that just saves a little bit of time so that you guys don't have to watch me run uh, the big shot. And I have that large poppy piece. <clears throat> I have some flirty flamingo. And... I just, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave these edges, well, I could put a little adhesive here on that one. The ones that are a little bit thicker, just a little bit of snail on there. And uh, green glue would work fine too. I don't really worry too much about these edges. Now the fun part is trying to figure out how it lines up. So you just gotta kinda keep turning and twisting. There we are. Nope. 
here. All right, beautiful. Then I've got a piece of little center. I'm trying to see which is my backside. This one right here, so that's my little, got a goop of adhesive there. Am I still on camera? I tend to come a little sideways. There we go, we've got that. And then the same thing, we're gonna do this little overlay, and I did old olive. Uh-oh, maybe my, I'm out of heat, uh, am I out of adhesive? No. This doesn't want to work for me this morning. Old olive, and then it's going to lay over top of a piece of mossy meadow, which I think just is such a pretty combo together. Whoops, it's a little crooked. Come on, work with me. Oh, doesn't want to must be monday all right so now i'm just going to take two dimensionals put those on here then i can just attach my how do i want you to go it doesn't really matter i guess got my two dimensionals there and then I'm going to just glue down my little leaf underneath there. And the final piece is going to take one of these, oh, it, they're coming off in my, on my fingers. I don't know where you came from, gold. Get back there. Okay, so I'm just gonna take one of these as a cute little bling center. Okay, so there, oh, got some adhesive on there. So there is our super cute little, oh no. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Super cute little buckle card. Okay, awesome. Absolutely love it. Now, um, I did want to share something real quick. Let me get these out of here because I am going to do a project. This is going to be... Um, a project that I'm going to do in January. This is going to be a WOW project in my studio. So WOW class is always the last Wednesday of every month. So mark your calendars because we are going to create this gorgeous flip album. So we did this at our holiday meeting with my upline. And as soon as we started, I'm like, we have got to create this in my studio. So I want to do a little bit of a promo so you guys can see it in action. So we just open up the side here. This is perfect for you scrappers who want to, um, you can scrap your own memories in here or this is an awesome little gift to give somebody. And just by changing the designer series paper, you could have it be a masculine, you could have it be for grandparents, you could have it be for your husband or fiance, your significant other, just change out the paper to suit that person that you're giving it to. We're gonna use the poppies in my studio, but we do have that amazing um, golf stamp set which is very cool and it's a whole suite that you could create with this, <clears throat> keeping in lines with Father's Day that will, will be coming up in June. <clears throat> so we're gonna flip it open. These are some of the little accents that we used. Okay, so we've got those there. Then, so pictures can go here, pictures here. You're going to flip open pictures everywhere. And then we've got these little panels here. Now this is going, you can do small pictures here, maybe rectangular ones. This is going to continue to open this way. I'm not sure, are we still on camera? It's really long. Okay, so are you seeing, these are, these are equal on the same sides. Then we've got this panel here in the middle that we're going to open up. And again, you can place photos in here. I just kind of decorated, but you do have room to do lots of photos. And then you've got pictures here, and then this is going to fold open so that you have an area to place three to four uh, pictures or even more, depending on how small you make them. So I wanted to share that that is going to be coming up as a class that I'm doing in, um, in January. There will be a to-go option, so if you are not local to me, you definitely want to contact me for information where you are going to get everything that you need um, to create this project. So I wanted to share that's coming up. Thanks so much for joining me today, everyone. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week for Movie Monday.